Hi everyone, in this problem we're going to find the Laplace transform of this definite integral. So to do that, we're going to associate this with something called convolution. So if you have two functions, f and g, and you look at what's called the convolution of these functions, this is defined to be the definite integral from 0 to t of f of tau times g of t minus tau d tau. This is called the convolution. And so the nice thing about this, the nice thing about being able to take this and make it look like this, is that if you have the Laplace transform of a convolution, then that's just the Laplace transform of f times the Laplace transform of g. And yes, I said times, just regular multiplication. You can actually do that. Um, so it's really, really powerful. So let's go ahead and identify our f and g in this problem and then use this. This is called the convolution theorem. So it looks like it's pretty simple to identify f. f is simply going to be t. And that way f of tau is just tau. And then g of t is going to be e to the t. And that way, g of t minus tau will actually be e to the t minus tau. So it works out perfectly. So it matches everything uh, in a very nice way. So using the convolution theorem, this will be the Laplace of t, that's our f, times the Laplace of g, that's our exponential function e to the t. And now we'll simply um, use the formulas. So whenever you have the Laplace of t to a power, in this case the power is 1, it's just that factorial, and then it's 1 higher on the bottom. So there's a 1 here, so you put a 2 on the bottom. And whenever you have the Laplace of e to the t, it's always 1 over s minus whatever number is here. So there's a 1 here, so it's s minus 1. Just to refresh your memory, the Laplace of t to the n, the formula we used, it's n factorial, and then it's 1 higher on the bottom. And the Laplace of e to the at is 1 over s minus a. So a here was 1. The last thing to do is maybe uh, rewrite this. 1 factorial is 1, and 1 times 1 is 1. So we end up with 1 up top, and then s squared times s minus 1 on the bottom. And that would be the final answer. I hope this video uh, is helpful to someone out there in the world who happens to be actually working <laughs> on this type of stuff. That's it.